got one uh, on ASO. Uh, and this one says, once ASO yeah. completed for FM radio in the future, does it mean that the FM band can be considered to deploy DAB plus radio as well? Uh, shall I take that one? Um, yeah, sure. The um, um, I, 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 I think the short answer is nobody really. There aren't enough people who would want to have DAB plus you know, to put it onto FM. I mean, there's you know, frankly, there's plenty of there's plenty of capacity on um, um, in band three. Um, uh, so that's number one. Uh, number two, Lindsay, I think I'm right in saying that uh, right now that. Um, uh, there is no technical solution for uh, DAB, uh, DAB in band two. Uh, so um, there are practical limitations uh, to it. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the issue with Spectrum obviously also is that Spectrum ultimately, uh, it's up to the national administration to decide what services go in which band. Uh, and currently, there are an awful lot of countries who still have FM radio in the uh, FM band, 87 to 108 megahertz, um, it would take a lot of uh, planning uh, between different countries in order to reassign that spectrum. Uh, but ultimately, it could be that it was reassigned to, uh, again, to broadcasting, to broadcast sound, and, and DAB would be a technical solution. Uh, it will work in that band. Uh, the only thing is that receivers are not designed at the moment to receive in that band because there is uh, frankly, no, no, no real chance of deploying DAB um, into the FM band at this time. Yeah, very good, very good. Well, in most uh, most countries, FM uh, band is completely congested, uh, and there's no real space for anyone new, even. So um, that sort of helps. I mean, there's always a crossover period, 